Hello there. How's it going? I'm here today to talk with you and demonstrate how to start your own mini microgreens planter. Microgreens are really popular these days and with good reason. They give so many good vitamins. You get 40 times the amount of vitamins in little microgreens as you do in their full grown, grown plant fruit. So consider this and it's not hard to do. It's very easy, but you have to follow the process step by step and make sure you do it as your directions show you. You can get many, you can get kits in many places. Amazon has a lot of varieties of kits and other seed companies and other places have them as well. Just make sure when you get your seed kit, make sure they give you a guarantee that you will have your produce. If they don't give you a guarantee, shop somewhere else. Okay, first of all, you have to have everything assembled here. So I've chosen to, this is the little seed tray and I've chosen to put it inside a saucer to keep it from spilling all over the place. And the first thing we have to do is they asked me to put in a third cup of water. So I pour it directly on the little soil pellet. And just for purpose of information, um, there are, you can grow microgreens organically in the soil. You can grow them in hydroponically or um, maybe a combination. I'm just saying there's several possibilities and you have to decide what's easiest and best for you. And when you do that, you need to also check to make sure the seeds you're growing have their preferred um, medium to grow in. Some, some plants prefer the hydroponic growing system and some prefer soil. So you'd want to use an organic mixture like this one. Okay, so the first thing we did was we put a, a third cup of water on here to break down the little soil pellet. And now that we've done that, we'll take our seeds. I have chosen broccoli. Broccoli is very high in great vitamins, especially high in calcium. You could eat broccoli and not ever have to have a glass of milk again if you chose to. If you had a milk allergy, broccoli is a great replacement because it has more calcium than milk, than milk does. So we're going to spread these out as evenly as possible all around. Try to get them evenly. I think I've got one underneath the tray. I'm going to grab it out of there so we don't leave anything out. I'm just going to dump it in there. There you are. Come back here. Maybe I'll just pop that in. Okay, so it already has nutrients in the in the soil, so I'm just letting it sit for a minute. Um, then I'm going to add just I'm going to give it a, maybe another two more tablespoons of water, two or three, to make sure it has enough water for them to germinate. And it, I don't know how much you've read about growing these but <laughs> the first 48 hours you don't lift up the you're gonna put a lid over them and you do not disturb them you just let them sit for 48 hours and after 48 hours is up take off the lid and you should already start to see yours growing excuse me <coughs> Excuse me, I'm having an issue with allergies. Spring is about to happen and I know allergies are gonna get much worse. So bear with me. 
Okay, so we've got it watered. We have a little cover to put on it. And on the cover, um, this is day one, so uh, I'm going to put, <coughs> excuse me, sorry. I'm going to put a, an X on day one to note that this is, and each day I'll put an X on this so that I know where I am. The second day will be the day that I take the lid off just to see how they're doing, if they're germinating well. So, um, I need to, I'm gonna have to trim back the edges so that it'll fit in here, okay? Because I stuck it inside a saucer that was just barely big enough for the little planting. So I'll grab some scissors and trim that back. Just a moment. Of course, plants need light, but these microgreen plants, seedlings basically, do not need, cannot have light right away. They need to have 48 hours in the dark, and then you can put light on them. So that's what we're doing. We're covering it up. I'll take a felt tip pen and, and mark day one, showing that uh, that this was the day I began it. And then uh, we'll proceed from there. You wanna make sure they have water, but only give them the water that's recommended, not anymore, because if you give them too much, you could just kill the seeds and then you have to start all over again. Um, otherwise, you should have a great little batch of plants in about two days. Um, microgreens have been shown to be very healthy and full of vitamins. And they're great to put on salads, sandwiches, and other things for nutrition value. They, um, we'll talk more about it, but when it gets to the point where you harvest them, you need to remember to not use your hands, but use clean cutting shears, clean scissors to cut them with. Don't ever use your hands. Um, if they are, they are handled well, and by the directions, you will have very healthy, nutritious microgreens when the seven to 10 days is up. We'll be talking more about this and I will get back to you in a few days and let you know how they're looking. Until then, think about what you want to grow, the types that you, of microgreens you would like. I'm, I'm doing broccoli. And just for this one, this planting, but <clears throat> I have others I'm going to do in the next planting. I have some cabbage and uh, kohlrabi and one other one. I'm trying to remember what it is, but it's a mixture. I think it might be more broccoli. So I think there's a mixture of the broccoli with the other two, and then there's broccoli by itself. But broccoli is very healthy, and as are the other ones. So consider what you want to use and what you want to grow and make sure you have the right medium. Um, if it re recommends the soil, you want to get the organic soil pellets. If it, if it recommends um, hydroponic growing, then you're going to need to get the ingredients you need for that because it's, you grow it the same, much the same way, except it has a little mat that they grow through instead of soil, and you water them and give them liquid plant food. Appreciate you visiting and seeing what we're doing today and good luck and try this out and let me know how you do. If you have a, a really uh, successful planting, please share it with us. Take a picture and post it on, on uh, uh, our Facebook page and let us see how it's going. Thank you again. 
happy growing. Thanks. Bye-bye.